According to the Center for Disease Control in 2008, about four children ages 14 or younger were killed in motor vehicle crashes every day, and many more were injured. For children ages four to seven, booster seats reduce injury risk by 59% compared to seat belts alone. Restraint use among young children often depends upon the driver's seat belt use. Almost 40% of children riding with unbelted drivers were themselves unrestrained. Vehicle crashes are the number one killer of children ages 4 to 14. In 2009, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 56% of the fatalities that took place in Tennessee were passengers that were unrestrained. 350 lives were saved from the use of seat belts, and an additional 152 lives could have been saved if they had been restrained. This, this choice, this, this two, two and, and a half second, second choice, could save your life. Amanda and I work at the Tennessee Tech University Business Media Center, home of the Ollie Otter program. Now I wanted to show you the materials that you're going to need to conduct a successful Ollie presentation. The first thing you're going to need is the road barrel. You can have one just like this, some of them might have logos and some of them might even have lights. Whatever works for you works for us. Other things you might need. Um, you're going to need the construction worker hat and vest. This way you can have a volunteer dress up as a construction worker to give a visual representation for the students. Another item you're going to need are the Ollie cheer cards. You need these to perform the Ollie cheer at the end of the presentation. Another thing you're going to need is a booster seat. They come in many different shapes and sizes and you need at least one visual representation for the kids to understand exactly what we're talking about. To go along with that, you're going to need the Ollie height chart. The Ollie Otter poster shows 4 feet 9 inches tall. This is how tall you have to be to get out of a booster seat. This way the kids know exactly how tall they are compared to what they need to be to get out of the booster seat. You need at least two people to conduct an Ollie presentation. The speaker and your Ollie. You want your Ollie to be energetic and fun because it really keeps the kids entertained and excited during the program. It's very important that your Ollie knows just as much about the presentation as you do. He needs to mimic your moves and understand what's going on so he can give a good visual representation of what you're saying during the presentation. Ollie, why don't you come on out so we can show him. Hey Ollie, how's it going? This is my friend Ollie. What is Ollie wearing? Ollie's wearing a seatbelt. It's very important that your Ollie talk about his seatbelt, point to his seatbelt, buckle and unbuckle his seatbelt so the kids realize just exactly what we're talking about. It's very important that your Ollie be energetic and fun because the kids, you know, compared to me, they're going to pay attention to the otter. <laughs> so we want him to be paying attention to me so the kids will listen to what I'm saying. Ollie, thanks for coming out here. You ready? Are you ready to start the show? Okay. <laughs> When you first get to the school, it's very important that you stop by the office and let them know that you're there. Introduce yourself to the principal, school counselor, or teacher, whoever may have set up the presentation. It's important to be polite, friendly, and let them know that we're here to have a good time and to be educational for their children. Once you get set up in the gym, the, the kids will file in and the principal will introduce you um, and they'll set the tone for the presentation. It's important for the kids to be quiet and listen because we're talking about something life-saving today. Now that I've been introduced, it's, it's important for the speaker to be high energy, have a lot of fun, and know exactly what they're talking about when they go out there. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Amanda Brown and I'm a volunteer with Tennessee Tech University. How are you guys doing today? That's great. I'm glad you guys are having a great day. I am too. I'm here to get talk to you guys about something very important. I work with the Tennessee Road Builders Association. Do any of you know what road builders do? That's right, they build roads. They keep the roads safe for us, so we want to keep them safe when they're out on the roads. So can I have a volunteer out from the crowd? Come on out here, Miss Julie. Come on down. You can pull a volunteer from the audience. You may have a volunteer with you, sometimes from local businesses or even someone from the Road Builders Association. This person you're going to dress up as a road builder. This gives the kids a visual representation of what they should look for when they're out on the roads. Now, why does she wear this bright white hat? To keep her safe, that's right. And it's, why is it bright and white like that? So you can see her. So what about this vest? It's orange and reflective, so you can see them when they're out on the roads because we don't want them to get hurt while they're keeping the roads safe for us. So another thing you might see on the road is this big thing. What is this? 
That's right, it's a barrel. Why do you think they made it big, bright, and orange? So you can see it, that's right. So when you're out on the roads with your mom, dad, brother, or sister, we need you to do us a favor. If you see any of our road builder friends or any of these orange road barrels, we want you to ask them to please slow down to keep our road builder friends safe. Can you say that with me? Please slow down. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should do it one more time. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Please slow down. Awesome. You guys did a great job. Thank you, Miss Julie. Okay, that was the first most important part of the presentation. The next important thing we need to talk about is belts to bones. At this point, you can bring Ollie on in. Another friend of the Tennessee Road Builders Association is Ollie the Otter. Do you guys know who Ollie the Otter is? Yeah, he's been here before, hasn't he? Okay, well, I, you guys might remember, Ollie's a little shy, so it may take some, some, some good cheering to get him out here, okay? So on the count of three, I want you guys to say, come out, Ollie, okay? One, two, three. Come out, Ollie. Oh, he's a little shy. I don't think he's going to come out yet. Let's do it one more time, okay? On the count of three, we'll say, come out, Ollie. One, two, three. Come out, Ollie. Hey, Ollie, how's it going? All right, this is my friend Ollie. And what's Ollie wearing? Ollie's wearing a seatbelt. At this part of the presentation, we're going to talk, talk about belts to bones. A law enforcement official can help you with this, or if there's not one with you, you can discuss it yourself. Let's go visit a school and show you exactly how this is done. Okay, well let me tell you something. Everybody, I mean, one of the things about being in seat belts, now the seat belt law is very important to people like me, to people like Ollie, people well, like Miss Amanda. He doesn't. He never That's wears right. his seat belt. Do you wear your seat belt? Yes. Do you wear your seatbelt? Yes. Very job. good. Well, that's what I want to hear this morning because there's a reason that we wear our seatbelts, okay? Now, we're going to talk about the law in just a few minutes and kind of explain that to you. You're probably going to hear something in a second that you're going to say again. Under four feet nine. It's booster time. It's booster time. Oh, you're yeah. exactly right. You're going to say that again, I'm sure, for Miss Amanda and Ollie. Um, I need a volunteer. Can you come up here just for a second? Who is, what's your name? Everybody know PJ? Yeah. Everybody know PJ? Well, PJ, I'm glad you come up here to help me volunteer, okay? Are you nervous? Are you nervous? You don't have to be, okay? It's not that bad. Everybody, I want to show you something that you got, okay? What's this right here? Everybody feel right here. That's your shoulder. Everybody know where your shoulder is? Well, when you start coming down across your shoulder, there's something else right here. Do you know what that is? It feels like a stick. What is that? Bone. It is a bone. It's your collarbone. Remember the word bone, okay? Now, when you come here a little bit further, what's right here? What runs from here to here? Anybody know? It's another bone. It's the one in front. It's called your breast. B for bone. B for bones. You're exactly right. That's a very good point. We're going to talk about that in just a second. Now, boys and girls, what I want to remind you, you like my orange strap? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Well, let me show you right here. This is what I want to show you about wearing a seat belt, okay? Belts to bones. Can you say that for me? Belts to bones! Good job. When you've got belts to bones, you're coming across like this right here, and you're hooking it in, and this is the way you wear the shoulder belt, okay? Everybody understand that? Okay, now, looky here. Whoa, we ain't done yet. Turn around here where everybody can see you again, PJ. Now this is where people get a little bit confused about where to wear the seat belt. What's right here? Billy. What'd you have for breakfast that's this where morning, PJ? Goes. <laughs> right, Cereal, that's where our food goes. <laughs> All right, PJ, listen to me. PJ had cereal for breakfast. What's in his belly then? Cereal. cereal. Is that going to stop a seat belt? No. no. Everybody say no. no. It's not going to stop a seatbelt. PJ, when I do that right there, it kind of goes, Ugh, that don't feel too good, does it? It doesn't feel good at all. Right here, though, is PJ's what? His hip bones. Belts to bones. Now, PJ, when I do that right there, it holds you in place, don't it? Huh? Does, does the seatbelt do its job? All right. Now, boys and girls, one thing to remember, the reason that we wear our seatbelts here and here is because that 
your body is made, if you're ever in a crash, and I hope you aren't, but if you're ever in a crash, it will hold you in place, okay? It will hold you where you need to be. That's exactly right. So remember, belts to bones. Now, no, you have to buckle up if you're ever in the car at all and it's moving, okay? Now, what about if this hurts my neck? You ever had it hurt your neck? What do you do then? Do you do this? Do you put it under your arm? No. No, that's not good, is it? What if it don't put it under your arm if it hurts your neck? What about this right here? Do we wear our seat belts like that? <laughs> what about like that right there? No, we sure don't. Hey, everybody, give PJ a hand, will you? Good job, PJ. All right. All right, what I want you to remember is this right here, okay? Wearing your seat belts are very important. They can save your life, okay? You think your parents can learn from you? They sure can. Can you remind your parents to buckle up? Yeah. All right, boys and girls, I want you to raise your right hand. Your other right hand. That's this one here. Very good. Right, can you repeat after me? Yeah. Are you ready? I promise. I promise. As a student. As a student. That I will wear my seatbelt. That I will wear my seatbelt. When I ride. When I ride. In a car. In a car. Because. Because. I want to live. I want to live. For a very long time. For a very long time. And I will remind. And I will remind. My mom and dad. My mom and dad. To do the same. To do the same. Because I love them too. Because I love them too. Very good. Good job, boys and girls. Will good you give job. Them a big round of applause for talking to us? Right. Okay, so Lieutenant Christian talked about something very important. He talked about belts to bones. Can you guys say that with me? Belts to bones. Good job. Oh, maybe should we do it one more time? I think we need to do it one more time. Belts to bones. All right, good job. This is the correct way to talk about belts to bones. The next thing we're going to do to really engage the kids is to ask them four questions. The first question is, how many of you rode on a school bus today? Okay, some of you did. How many of you rode in a car with mom or dad? Quite a few did. Okay. All right. How many wore your seatbelt today? We like to see a lot of hands go up, but not they don't always do. All right. And the fourth question is, how many of you sat in a booster seat today? What are these right here? All right. These four questions are used to show the teachers, the principal, and even the other children how many children are sitting in a booster seat. We'll compare this to how many should be sitting in a booster seat later on. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the Tennessee state law. Under 4 feet 9 and 9 years old, a child needs to be in a booster seat. We use this height chart to visually represent that. So at this point, you're going to need volunteers from the crowd. Get 10 to 20 students. You can ask the teachers to pick the children. You can ask Ollie to pick the children or other volunteers to go out and pick some volunteers to bring up to the front of the room. We will then line them up in front of this high chart and see how tall they are compared to the four feet nine they need to be to get out of the booster seat. We're going to go visit a school and see how it's done. We need to play a game because we have another rule in Tennessee, the Tennessee law about booster seats, okay? Do you, have you guys ever heard what the Tennessee booster seat law is yet? If you're under nine years old and under four feet nine, you need to use a booster seat when you ride in the car, okay? This arrow, everybody see this arrow up here? This is the arrow that marks on our poster four feet nine inches tall, okay? Way up here. Ollie, you want to hold it? See, look way up here. Four feet nine inches tall, okay? And nine years old. So if you're under nine years old and under four feet nine, you need to use a booster seat in the car. So everybody practice this. This is how we're going to play the game. On the count of three, everybody shout booster. One, two, three. Good job. Okay. And if you're taller than four feet nine, like Miss Deborah and Commissioner Mitchell and Ollie and me and Officer Fernandez and Carol and Christy, you need to use a seatbelt because you're taller. Okay? So on the count of three, let's all say seatbelt together, okay? One, two, three. I think they're gonna do awesome at this game. Okay guys, we need volunteers from the audience. Cameron, can you come stand in front of the poster? Stay right there. All right. If Cameron were riding in the car, what would he need to use in the car? Because that booster seat is going to raise him up 
See, look at Officer Fernandez. He's gonna, that booster seat's gonna raise him up in the car and he make sure that seatbelt fits across his body the right way, okay? So, we already know he needs to use a booster seat, so on the count of three, let's shout booster seat. One, two, three. Awesome. And then Cameron, and then it's time to go sit down back in your spot, okay? So they're gonna go through the line, and if you guys get them all right, we've got some cool prizes over here to give to you guys, okay? Do you like to get prizes? Yeah! All right, so. I'm going to go over here and help the line, the train go along, and you guys, what does she need to use in the car? All right, and now keep, keep them going pretty quick. Okay, what does she need to use? There we go. There we go. Now that we've measured the kids, it's important to know how many needed to be in a booster seat compared to how many raised their hands earlier. About 75% of children in elementary schools don't meet that 4 feet 9 requirement. Did 75% of children raise their hand when we asked that question earlier? Probably not. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the Ollie Cheer. This is Ollie's favorite game. And this is where the cheer cards come in. You're going to need five volunteers from the audience and they're each going to hold one card and we're going to spell out Ollie's name. Let's go visit a school and see how this is done. Give me an O. Give me an O! Give me an L. Give me an L! L! Here, it's almost time to wrap up the presentation. So we're going to talk about the school kit. This is the kit we leave at the school that contains all of the fun goodies that Ollie's left behind. So teachers, each children is going to get a bookmark. And they're also going to get an envelope that can contain Ollie mail. Ollie loves to get mail. So if you want to bring the seatbelt safety discussion back into the classroom, have them draw pictures of Ollie or write letters to him and you can send them to us. And if your class sends us artwork, Ollie's going to send every one of your students a coloring book. Don't we love to color, Ollie? Yeah, we do. So now that we've talked about the school kit, we're all done. So we want to review real fast to make sure the kids remembered everything that, they, that, everything that we've talked about today. So the first thing we talked about was work zone safety. What are we going to ask our parents to do when we see a road builder friend or one of these barrels? Please slow down. That's right. The next thing we talked about was the seatbelt and how it fits Ollie. And what did we call that? Belts to bones. How about we say that one more time? One, two, three. Belts to bones. That's right. Great job, guys. And the other thing we talked about when we measured all of our friends is if you're under four feet nine or nine years old, you need to be sitting in a booster seat. So we call that under four feet nine booster time. So how about we say it together? I'll say under four feet nine, and you guys say booster time. One, two, three. Under four feet nine, booster time. That's right. All right, so we learned a, very, a lot of very important things today, and Ollie has had so much fun coming to visit you guys. So he's going to be hanging out at the door, and you guys can give him a hug or high five as you leave. Make sure that you conclude with a big thank you for the principal and teachers for allowing us to come talk to their kids today. And go have fun. Ollie the Otter is a cool, cool cat in an utterly, utterly way. Ollie likes to sing, Ollie likes to dance, Ollie loves to laugh and play. But Ollie's got a big job to do, and he needs help from me and you. Together with Ollie, we'll lead the way by singing this song every day.